with this camera angle, you're sitting with me in the cab of the excavator, and it's time to scoop up more ore. We uh, put a spoon, <laughs> a shroud, over the end of the excavator bucket because we don't really need the teeth right now. We just need to scoop ore. And I'm, I'm trying to operate this excavator with one hand where you'd normally use two, so the process would be a lot quicker, but I gotta hold the camera, so. We're gonna scoop up some ore and feed it into the plant. Well. <laughs> Yeah, normally I do this with two hands, but... We had large chunks of lamp right here, but I pulverized it with the bucket by dropping the bucket on it. Honestly, I don't want to fill this bucket to the top because I tend to overfill the scrubber and that overwhelms the lower scrubber. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. We'll swing around. Got to be careful not to hit the tree or the platform up there. Usually this goes much quicker, but like I say, I'm, I'm running one-handed here. Now, I'm dribbling the ore in intentionally instead of dumping it real fast all at once. I don't have to worry about overwhelming this large scrubber anymore because it used to be two-wheel drive, and then we put these chains on there. There's two sets of chains, and it makes it a four-wheel drive system, and it never stalls out anymore. We used to have a problem with that, but you know we've done some fine-tuning on it. I can dump too much in here and it'll overwhelm the lower scrubber. And I never, from this vantage point, never used to be able to see the lower scrubber. I can, I can look right through here and monitor that my pumps are still working for the sluice. I've got water and oversized rocks running off the end of the sluice there. I can also monitor my tailings discharge because I've got water and fine ore running out the end into the settling pond there. But I couldn't monitor the lower trommel until I added a mirror. I picked this up yesterday and this is really a big help. Now, and I painted white stripes on the scrubber so I can see it's spinning because if that stalls out, I've got to jump out of here real quick and go down there and pull it and kind of help spin it. But now I can monitor, we're running fine there, so I can dump the rest of this ore in. I can hold this with one hand. Those big rocks will break up in the scrubber trommel most likely and if it doesn't it goes to the oversize out the end of that chute and anyway I can monitor everything from here and it's working properly and it's a pretty well automated system now I wanted to get it to where I don't have to scoop fine material out of that sunken wash tub anymore and I don't have to scrape oversize off of a expanded metal grate at the end of this sluice anymore and I can just sit here and as long as the pumps keep pumping and the trommels keep spinning without being overwhelmed 
I can just sit here and feed ore all day and that's the way I want to do it. I want an automatic system. So we're, we're getting it fine-tuned and, and working the way we want it now. Sitting here, I can still monitor with the mirror that that lower trommel is running and I have not overwhelmed it. So I can spin around and get more material and feed another bucket into the, into the hopper here. And uh, it's, it's all running smooth, got no problems. So this saves me a lot of climbing in and out of this excavator and running around there like the Keystone Cops to try to get that scrubber rolling. So if you just feed slow, you don't have a problem. If you try to re feed too fast, then you're taking two steps back. So slow and steady wins the race here. <laughs> 